All right, so this lesson uh, by tutor tag is going to be all about writing out a KEQ expression using an ice table to solve a problem. Okay, so this particular example, we have a chemical reaction given to us. Uh, hydrogen plus iodine gives us hydrogen iodide. And it's asking us something. It's saying, find the concentration of all species present at equilibrium. Okay, so it's telling us that one mole of both of the reactants are added into a two liter container, find the concentration of all species at equilibrium. So just as a reminder, let's uh, look back and think what we did before on this. And so we had a graph and we said that this was the reaction progress, or the reaction, and over here on the y-axis we had concentration. And so what we said is that the reactants started out high and they flattened out and the products started out low and they flattened out at some point there and that point that they flattened out or that the concentrations remain constant was called the equilibrium point all right so those are the equilibrium points right there and right there and so i can mark this on my graph and i could say that that was the equilibrium point of those and this one was the equilibrium point of that and so we'd also say that the point that it started is called the initial point so that's the initial that point there is the initial and it went from some initial to some equilibrium point so we'll call that point E and there was some change there there's some difference and we'll call that C for change alright so there's some difference here between the initial and the equilibrium concentrations, and that, that is called the change. And so you can see where we get these three letters, I, C, E, for ice table, initial change in equilibrium, okay? So you're always gonna use an ice table um, when you're given something about the initial amounts of, of, a, of a substance at e before equilibrium, and then maybe you're given something at equilibrium. So you know it's, it's always the change. In the previous questions, we were always already started at equilibrium, so you didn't have to use an ice table. And so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to use the ice table um, to solve this question. So we set it up like this, I, C, E, and basically uh, yeah, you set it up, and each of the reactants and each of the products have their own little section in the table. Okay. So we try to fill in the table, and so I stands for initial. So we look at the question, it says, okay, the one mole of both of the reactants are added to the two liter container. So that's the initial amount. So one mole into a two liter container. And remember, when we're doing all this, it's always concentrations. So remember, concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume. So the concentration here is one mole per two liters, which equals 0 0.5 moles per liter. Okay, so 0.5 moles per liter is the initial concentration of both of the reactants. So 0.5 moles per liter and 0.5 moles per liter. Well, how much HI did we have initially? Well, let's look. Here's the HI curve, the initial. Well, you look, initial, it started at nothing. It started at zero. So that's zero moles per liter. There's no initial amount of HI. What we also know is we also know that there's going to be some change, but we don't really know what that change is. So a good way to show that is to call it x as an algebraic expression or a variable x. So we don't know what that is. So here from the reactants, we're taking away that change. We're subtracting. Notice that these are going down from the initial. So if it goes down, we minus that. So we're subtracting x, so one mole of that x, because there's a one here. This is minus 1x, and this is a 2 here, so it's plus 2x. And notice that the product is plus because the product started at 0. The product started at 0, we have to add some value, whereas these ones we have to subtract some value. So the product usually starts at 0. you got to add some value to it. We don't know what that value is, but it's proportional to the number of moles. So there's 1 mole and a 2 mole here, so that's why it's a 1 to 2 ratio. Okay, so at equilibrium, we know whatever the HI is going to be is going to be 0 plus 2x, which basically we could get rid of, and you could just call that. So if we just erase that, we could just say 0 plus 2x is basically just 2x. 
And then this one is going to be 0 0.5 subtract 1x. This one will be 0 0.5 subtract 1x. Okay, so really now all we have to do is we have to answer the rest of this question. It's saying find the concentration of all species at equilibrium. So if we can find the concentrations at equilibrium, we'll be good to go. So we look at this and there's some x's here. We don't know what x is yet, so the key is going to be to find x. So we go back to our trusty, reliable equilibrium law, which is KEQ equals the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. I'll just abbreviate those. So the concentration of products will be the HI, and we square that, remember, divided by the concentration of H2, multiply the concentration of I2. And so now we can sub in all our values. And remember, always, when you're writing this out, the concentrations that are listed here are the ones that are at equilibrium. Okay, always, always, always. So we look, that's the third row in our table. These values here are the ones that are at equilibrium. So we substitute those into our reaction here. So you get KEQ equals the concentration of HI, which is 2x squared, divided by the concentration of H2, which we look is 0 0.5 times 10, or sorry, 0 0.5 minus 1x times 0 0.5 minus 1x. Okay, so first thing we know the KEQ value is given to us here, 1.25 times 10 to the negative 4. So we have 1.25 multiplied by 10 to the negative 4 equals 2x squared over, now this can be rewritten as 0 0.5 minus 1x squared, because anything multiplied by itself is that value squared. Like if this is a multiplied by a, it would be a squared, a little bit of math. Then we just have to solve for x, so a little bit of math here. Um, so what you have to do, we have to eliminate these squares, and we have squared both on the numerator and the denominator, so we can square root both sides. Now notice this isn't always the case. You don't always square root both sides, but in this case it is, because you have both squared there. All right, so you do that, and you end up with, on the left side of the equation, you have 1.25 times 10 to the negative four, and we square root that number and we get 0 0.01118 equals 2x divided by 0 0.5 minus x. Now we're going to solve for x, so you multiply both sides by 0 0.5 minus x. Now this is just a little bit of algebra. So if you're not good at your algebra, make sure you review how to do this. And then we got to use the distributive property because you have a monomial times a binomial. And so you do that, you get times 0.5 equals, so you're going to get 5.59 times 10 to the negative 3 for, for that one. And then this times that is minus 0.01118x equals 2x. Now we're trying to solve for x, so we add 0.01118x to both sides. Join up our like terms, so you get 5.59 times 10 to the negative 3 is equal to, and then we add 2x plus that, so you get 2.01118x, divide by 2.01118, cancel those out. Now this is just algebra, so if you're not understanding this, you gotta make sure you uh, practice your algebra here. Okay, and so the final answer for x is equal to 2.7795 times 10 to the negative 3. And so with the proper amount of significant digits, which technically should be 1 in this question, but uh, we'll just make it 3 for now, is 2.78 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3. And that's moles per liter. So that's the x value. So what you have to do is you have to go back up and you have to answer the question. So the concentration of the H2 
is equal to 0 0.5 minus x, which equals 0 0.5 minus, and we just found x, was 2.78 multiplied by 10 to the negative 3. So if you do that, you're going to get 0 0.497 for your H2. And notice H2 and Br2 are the same. So Br2 will be the same thing, 0 0.497 moles per liter. And then the concentration of HBr is equal to 2x, which equals 2 multiplied by x. And remember that x we found down here was 2.78 times 10 to the negative 3. And so that is going to equal 5.56 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. Okay, so those are the that's the final answer. Those three numbers there. So again, just looking at this, let's look at our steps. First step I did was ice table. Second step was write out your equilibrium law or equilibrium expression. And then the third step was solve for the unknown variable. All right, so substitute everything into the equilibrium expression and solve for the unknown variable. And then you can use that. Now notice I did use some algebra here. Rational expressions, binomials, things like that. So make sure that you know how to, how to solve this using math.